Hey everybody, it's Brian. Welcome back to the channel. Please take a moment to subscribe and give this video a like. I appreciate you stopping by. Today we're going to be reviewing The Golden Glove by Indie Ridge. This is a company you've probably never heard of, but it's just a fantastic uh, pair of gloves. I've had these gloves for over 9,000 miles, and I've literally beaten the living snot out of them. They've, uh, I think that they compare very well to a premium brand like Odin. These retail for about $59 on their website or Amazon. You can see they have a high de detail of stitching. And you can see that they've really worn in nicely. I personally like that patina look for it. It gives them a little bit more character. Here the glove, you can see it's stamped with the Indie Ridge logo on the side. Thought it was a nice touch. But you can see here with the stitching, it's really detailed. They've put a lot of work into these gloves. They've broken in very easily. Um, they have the armored knuckles, much like an Odin heavy hitter. And they're also a touch featured glove that allows you to still work your electronics on your, devi your devices. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But here I just wanted to show you the stitching and the amount of detail that they've put into these gloves. And in all fairness, I haven't uh, put any sort of conditioner or anything on these. So you can just see them sort of in their raw state and how they've worn over those miles. But they put a lot of time and detail into the stitching. And I really like that the way the glove looks. It has a very retro feel to it. They're extremely comfortable. They're all leather. Uh, they're a good three season glove. Maybe once you get into the 90s, they're gonna be a little bit hot, but for that spring, fall, and winter riding, I think they're great. As you can see here, the uh, the touch fingers have you know, all those miles on it, and you can see that they're still really holding up well. There's no wear on them. But what I wanted to show you here is if you look at the stitching of that fingertip, it's open. So when you put these gloves on, you're not getting the normal wear that you would get at the stitch point at the top of your fingers. Now that seems trivial for some people, but when you're doing a lot of long-term riding and you're spending all day in the saddle, that's going to wear. So a company like Odin, Joe Rocket, Milwaukee Leather, all of them seem to stitch the fingers together where Indie Ridge has left the fingertip open. So your fingertips aren't constantly wearing on that seam, which I think is, is fantastic. It leads to a lot more comfortable glove when you're spending all day in the saddle. Now here you can see again the, the detailing of that stitching. And if you notice the the touch part of the glove and the top of the glove, the seams are on the top and the bottom. So you're no longer getting that rubbing on your fingers. And again, it seems trivial, but I think when you try a glove like this and it speaks to the premium quality of it, it's a lot more comfortable for longer rides. And this is something that you don't see other companies doing. And I think it really does make a big difference in a premium touring glove. Now here's just some shots of me on the bike with the gloves, and I find these gloves to be extremely comfortable. They've uh, they've held up well. They're thick enough that you're protected, but with the heated grips in the winter time, they're still plenty warm. And you can see with the knuckles, I mean they they've certainly worn, but that's a testament as to how long these gloves have held up over the thousands and thousands of miles that I've put on them. I really like the way that these gloves wore. They've wear. They worn. The, I really like the way that these gloves have worn. It gives them a much. Uh, it gives them a, a weathered look to them. Now here you can see we got stuck in an absolute downpour, and the reason I wanted to include this is even when the gloves became saturated, they still provided excellent traction for the grip, so it was still able to control the motorcycle with no issue. And still had a you know a complete grip on the controls. Here you can see the touch mat, the touch fingers working, and you can see how well they work. Now, with other companies like Odin, with the what I think is kind of gimmicky with the flip fingers, they they kind of catch on your uh, on your controls at times. 
these have held up for you know seven eight thousand miles whatever it's been um and it's it's really proven to just work you can see here it works the controls on the bike with no issue at all so i've really been impressed with how they've held up it's easy to operate all your controls they're a comfortable glove and like i said having those free seams in the uh tops of your fingers certainly makes them a lot more comfortable. So I thought it was interesting that other gloves that I've owned, like Milwaukee Leather, Joe Rocket, that have those touch-enabled fingers, they wear very quickly, and you're lucky if you can get a 1,000 miles out of them, and they just simply stop working. And I'm really impressed with the way that they've held up. They have a live-free guarantee, so if you have an issue with your glove, you simply contact the company and they'll take care of it, and that's a lifetime guarantee. When you think about that, for a premium product, that's a pretty impressive warranty to have. I don't think it gets any better than that. They're a small independent company. They stand behind their product. They make a really interesting line of gloves. They have these. Uh, they have a denim and leather pair, which I think are extremely stylish. So they, it's something that's a little different. They stand out. People question me a lot when I'm out asking me where I got the gloves because they're just different than your standard black leather gloves that you know everybody and their brother seems to be wearing. So I just wanted to give you my insight, give you an idea of how well these gloves have held up for me. And this is a long-term review. This is not a sponsored review. This is my money. So I really thought it would be interesting that you could see rather than giving you a first impression – I can give you, you know, how they've held up all in all those miles, in all the weather, hot, cold, rain. And you can see that the, the touch functionality of it still works and how they've weathered over that time. So if you're looking for a pair of premium gloves, I think you should really take the time to look at Indie Ridge, check out their products. I think you'll be very pleased in the uh, stylings that they offer. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found this video interesting. I'd be interested in your comments uh, as to what touring gloves you wear. What gloves do you find the most comfortable? Have you tried Indie Ridge gloves? And uh, what your experience has been. So as always, I appreciate you taking the time out to check out my videos. Thanks. I hope you'll give it a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Until the next one, see ya.